uh, in this class uh, we are going to discuss about how to calculate sum and uh, average elements of an array c program to calculate sum and average of an array with n elements so c program to calculate sum and average of an array so first statement hash include stdio.h because we are using printf and scalar functions next main function so in this example the input variables are size of the array that is nothing but n next some integer array let uh, we have 10 elements next to perform operations uh, on the for loop uh, we need a variable called i for repetition uh, next we have to calculate uh, sum uh, the initial value of the sum is 0 otherwise if you don't uh, initialize 0 value then uh, some garbage value will be stored in the sum so we must perform initialization so the initial value of the sum is 0 and in this program we have to calculate average also so float abc so first read size of the array so printf enter size of the array printf enter size of the array next scanf here we are reading an integer value so the format specified is percent %sd, comma, m percent %n next read the array elements so in every array program this is common so we have to read the size of the array as well as we have to read array elements so print up enter array elements here we are reading more than one element so that's why the for loop is compulsory we know that index of an array starts from 0 so for i is equal to 0 because index starts from 0 and continues up to size minus 1 here size means n so i less than or equal to n minus 1 because the index continues uh, up to n minus 1 uh, so i less than or equal to n minus 1 can also be written as i less than n next after 0 we have to read a of 1 next to 2 3 like that so every time we have to perform incrementation next for reading uh, use scanf function so scanf here we are reading integer value so the format specified is percent %sd comma m percent a of i so now uh, size of the array is over reading is over next we have to calculate the sum so in order to calculate the sum we have to start from zero value and continue up to n minus one so i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus uh, so we have to add this sum value to corresponding array element so here the statement is very very simple so sum is equal to sum plus add the array element that index value is available in i so sum is equal to sum plus a of i next to calculate the average abc is equal to so the name of the variable is abc so abc is equal to the formula for average is sum by number of elements that number of elements are available in n now display the sum value so printf slash n sum is equal to here the sum value is integer value so for integer the format specified is percent %sd comma that sum result is available in a variable called sum uh, next to display average value so printf slash n average is equal to uh, here uh, the average variable is abc and its data type is float so the format specified is percentage f comma what is the name of the variable abc is the name of the variable now close the main function uh, now let's see how this program will be executed uh, so print of enter size of the array scan of percentage d comma m percent n uh, let n value here is 5 next to print of uh, enter array elements for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus scan of percentage d comma m percent a of 5 so here how many elements are there five elements uh, let the size of the integer is two bytes so two into number of elements five so two into five ten bytes 
So 10 bytes of memory will be allocated for the year. So let the starting address here is 1000. So from 1000 to 1001, the first element. Next to 1000 to second element. 1004. Next 1006, 1007. Next 1008, 1009. So for i is equal to 0, i is less than n. 0 is less than 5. Condition is true. So scan of percent is d comma y percent a of 5. So the first element, let it be a of 0. Let it be a of 1. Let it be a of 2. Let it be a of 3. Let it be a of 4. So scan of percent is d comma y percent a of 5. So the first element will be stored at address of a of 0. Let the first element is 10. So 10 will be stored at address of a of 0. Address of a of 0 is 1000. So 10 will be stored at 1000. Let the next element is 20. So i plus plus. Previously i value is 0. Now y becomes 1. 1 is less than 5. Condition is true. So scan of percentage d comma m percent a of i. So what is i value now? 1. So the next element will be stored at address of a of 1. What is address of a of 1? 1002. Next element stored at 1004. Next element at 1006. Next element at 1008. Uh, next we have to calculate the sum. So for i is equal to 0, i is less than 5. So 0 is less than 5. Condition is true. So sum is equal to sum plus a of 5. So sum is equal to the initial value of the sum is 0. So 0 plus a of 5. What is i value? 0. What is a of 0? 10. So 0 plus 10 means 10 will be stored. Next i plus plus. Now i becomes 1. 1 is less than 5. Condition is true. So sum is equal to sum plus a of 5. The previous value in sum is 10. So 10 plus what is a of 1? 20. So 10 plus 20 means 30. So now sum value is 30. Next i plus plus. i becomes 2. 2 is less than 5. Condition is true. So sum is equal to sum plus a of 2. So what is the previous value in sum? 30. 30 plus what is a of 2? 30. So 30 plus 30, 60 will be stored. Next i plus plus. i becomes 3. 3 is less than 5. Condition is true. So sum is equal to sum plus previous value in sum 60 plus a of 3. a of 3 value 40. So 60 plus 40, 100. i plus plus. Now i becomes 4. 4 is less than 5. Condition is true. So sum is equal to sum plus a of 4 value is 50. So 100 plus 50, 150. i plus plus. i becomes 5. 5 is less than 5. Condition is false. So control comes out from the far loop. Next, we have to calculate the average. So the formula for average is sum by n. So what is sum value here? 150. n value 5. So 150 by 5 means, what is the result? 30 will be stored. Let uh, the sum value is 151. So what is the result of 151 by 3? So 3 fives. 3, 151. So 3 fives are uh, 350s are 150. Next one, 0. 0.0. So 3.39. Next 0, 3.39, like that. So actually, if, if the sum value is uh, 151, then the result is 50.33. But here, uh, the data type of the sum is integer value. The data type of the n is integer value. Integer by integer, we give slowly integer as the result. So the result of 151 by 3 is, it displays slowly 50 as the result. But the result of 151 by 3 is 50.33. So for that purpose, uh, we need to convert either numerator or denominator into floating point values. Why? Because here the result of integer by float or float by integer or float by float will produce as float as the result. That means 151 by 3 will give only integer. Whereas 151 by 3.0 or 151.0 by 3 or 151.0 by 3.0 will produce as float as the result because in this expression denominator denominator is float in this expression numerator is float in this expression both numerator and denominator values are floating point values so for that purpose we can perform type casting here here the resultant data type value is float so within the parenthesis we have to specify float whenever we place a statement like this then what will happen is this sum will be converted to floating point value as well as this n will be converted to floating point value. Here let the sum is 151. So 151 is converted to float, 150 it will become 150.0 as well as 3 will become 3.0. So this is known as type casting. 
Typecasting means converting a value from one data type to another data type. Here there is a possibility that we may get floating point value as the result. So that's why we need to perform typecasting. In this example, it is not necessary. Let the resultant value is some odd value, some 151 like this. Then we need to perform some typecasting there. So sum is equal to percentage d comma sum. So what is the sum value here? 150. So sum is equal to 150 will be printed. Next average is equal to percentage f comma average. So average is equal to sum by n. So now sum will become 150.0 denominator. Uh, so what is n value here? Here n value is 5 because the size of the array is 5. So 150 by 5. So 150 by 5 means watch 30.0. So we will get 30.0 as the output. So in this way we can calculate sum and average for an array with an element.